I'm Kimberly Brown with A-Spire Magazine, and today we are speaking with a phenomenal woman who has brought so many women together across the Southeast to help them and to encourage them and to uplift them in their business and personal branding. She has established the Business Women's Empowerment Project. She's an expertise in public relations, a former model, and a successful businesswoman. She's also the executive producer for the hit television show, Women on the Move. <laughs> Tell me about your charity organization for girls. Oh, Teen Girls Rock. Teen okay. Girls, well see, let's see. So back in the day, mm -hmm. um, when I, after I retired, all that good stuff, in Orlando I had a little modeling image studio where I would teach girls etiquette. And so when I relocated to Atlanta in 2007, I was really just trying to get my business going because nobody knew me here. I came here and worked uh, doing NBA All-Star Weekend 2003. I've come here to work with clients. Okay. So um, that I so when I moved here, I was kind of trying to see, meet them like, who you know, where's everybody out that I met? But they were all here like me. They had just came to do a job and yes. they had to go back to where they were from. So um, I'm, as I learned the community, as I kind of maneuvered and moved around, you know, I could see different pockets of areas of, of young people, you know, and I'm like, dang, you know, I'm looking at these girls, I'm like, oh my goodness, they just need a little guidance, or I'm, I'm, I'm hearing things, or I may be, I may be doing, the, um, when we go into Partners Day at the schools, I've done that through Clayton County, going to schools, partner, you know, oh, wow. uh, business, you know, we come out and we kind of hang out with the principal yeah. and go to the classes and things like that. I, I always like to go to the schools and and talk to the to the young people the middle school age that's the age okay. middle school because that i call them i said this is middle high school so some people don't even make it that so you may call yeah. middle high school they get the eighth grade that's over so those are the ones you kind of want to encourage yes. so they can keep going. keep going but you have a lot of kids that are in the gap where their parents are working and then between that three to six three to seven they they didn't make the dance team they didn't make the cheerleading squad they don't play sports so yeah. where are they at yeah where are they? they're lost yeah. they're in the mix they're just in the middle so what i did was i just did an all call out for girls teen girls in the area okay. and pulled them together i wanted to teach them about how to take care of their skin so i have a partnership with belt department store and i said look i want to do something i want to get the girls together and come and i want to teach them how to take care of their skin and feed them breakfast and do all this wow. and all i told the parents to do is get them there i didn't got it wasn't no you ain't got to register yeah. just come you to pay. and so that's kind of how teen girls rock got started then i did a, a partnership with microsoft okay we did I have to teach them about STEM and coding that stuff because you know it's oh, big, it's big yes, now, bigger yes. now than it was at Especially that time. Women moving in that direction. Oh yeah, yes. so doing that with the girls, um, also with the um, doing my um, not that back to school drive, but I've done the drive. So we gathered clothes and coats for uh, the Rainbow House. That's a uh, group home. Okay. And putting things together for them, and you know, just really yes. trying to give back and let people see that what's most important. So yeah. I've been busy in a lot of other areas. I know they're like, well, Miss Miss Kim gonna do something again. And I said, it's coming on, we're gonna do some things. And mm -hmm. I really, really wanna do more mm -hmm. um, with that. And I'm slowly pulling my team together because again, when you're dealing with the youth, you have to be very careful. Yes. Who's, you know, who's around them and who mm -hmm. you're dealing with because again, yeah. you know, that's right. And you know, I, I am my brand, I'm in, and I wanna make sure that everything is straight when I'm dealing with the girls. So um, being able to pull things together for them, I wanna get them shirts and all that. Okay. But I know some people are graduating, moving on, but I'm here and yeah. I'm always a phone call or email away. Sometimes they get frustrated. I need somebody to talk to. I'll talk to you, girl. Mm -hmm. What you want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Yes. Um, over the years, you've you've uh, interviewed some heavy hitters. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who yeah. would you say is your most memorial interview and why? Oh, let's see. Well, I'm going to say this. Is, the reason why this is, is so very important to me is probably my very first show. Okay. Because I was, I, at four, four women, when I had the idea of, doing the show, which was a spinoff from doing the summit. Somebody said, this would be a great for TV. I'm like, I haven't done that stuff in so long. They said, Kim, I'm telling you, you can put something together and do a talk show for women. I was like, oh, yes. Yeah. So they were like, well, put it together. Yes. And I made up a couple of calls. I was like, I gotta call somebody, a few people that are really gonna make this kick off so people can see mm -hmm. the quality. Not only that, to see that it's, it's, it's definitely gonna be something different. And I was able to call Lorraine Smith, which is Neil's mother. Okay. I called. Shaquille O'Neal's mom, Lucille O'Neal. I said, hi ladies, y'all know what? 
I said, I'm ready for this TV show, and I really need, I need somebody, I need somebody that I know. Yes. So I don't have to go through no hoops that'll come and be on the couch. Mm -hmm. no, and and they said, sure, I'll be there, which what I, what I need to do. And um, Lisa Washington, she's a celebrity chef here. Okay. And I reached out to her at the time she was on the Food Network, and I said, I would really love to talk with you. I'm doing this TV show, and I think, you know, because you're in Atlanta, you'd be great. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm there. And the fourth person is Dr. Lori Johnson. Who knows Dr. Johnson? Nobody. I know Dr. Lori Johnson. Not only is she from New Jersey, but she was the person that said, when I told her this is what I wanted to do, mm -hmm. she said, okay, I'll write the check. Oh. Now you talk about memorable. That was that, wow. that, that. She said, she, and she said, I, she took care of the very first season of Women on the Move Line. And she, uh, so anything, they, those are my best. Um, because they believed in, in mm -hmm. what I was doing. They yeah. saw the vision, and they did, they just said, yes, okay, yeah. I'm there. They supported now, you 100%. Oh, 100%. So I always have to give them credit because they came to drop it a dime. Ms. O'Neill had to fly in. Of course, at the time, Neil's mother was living here, mm -hmm. and we had did some things together. But those guys really, really helped to kind of get things going mm -hmm. where we are. I mean, we've, we've already done four seasons about getting ready for season five. But over the years, I mean, I think everybody, no matter the level, because I've had some A-listers, but i had some people that are, are, are pace setters in the community mm -hmm. that have been a part of the show, mm -hmm. that have been like enlightening for me, just sitting there talking to them, like, right. wow, I didn't even know this exists, so we exactly. had that. And the people that received it through television, they were like, what? You know, you would get, you know, the call-ins or the, the feedback through, you know, just through questions and emails, mm -hmm. and I would love to hear, like, wow, that was good, you know. Yeah. And everything. So there's so much talent. There's so many talented women in business mm -hmm. uh, throughout Metro Atlanta, the surrounding areas. Um, you know, I'm venturing out into Macon, you know, trying to get in the middle of Georgia and just yeah. really just wanting to empower women throughout the whole state. Oh, wow. um, and there's just amazing. so, so much more to explore. So yeah. um, I'm ready for the challenge because I'm the woman on the move. Yes. <laughs> and would you say that's your purpose? Yeah, I, that, yeah that, that's my purpose. My purpose is to encourage you, to okay. encourage yourself. And to encourage someone else. Okay. Yeah, that's me. Well, I'm that. definitely encouraged. That's good. Definitely. We're doing a mantra all year. Do you have your? Do you have a mantra that's your favorite that you live by? Uh, be ready, stay ready. Be ready, stay ready. You know why? Because for what we do, for what I do, you never know who's going to call or what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And you got to be ready. Yes. So I got to make sure that everything's ready from. I mean, I gotta make sure if, if my art, my makeup artist ain't ready, I better have some makeup and some lashes ready. <laughs> okay, if somebody comes in, I gotta be somewhere, I better have some clothes ready. Right, right, uh, I gotta, right. So I gotta make sure I have a clean gown in the closet, mm -hmm. <laughs> suit ready, everything, because you just never know. You don't. Uh, and keep the passport current, because yes. I, I do travel. Okay. So um, I think it's just be ready, stay ready. Mm -hmm. But really, just uh, it's really the three C's collaborate connect and create. That's mm -hmm. what I, that is my main thing. That is what I started the year with, okay. W3C. Okay. Women in business who come together to collaborate, connect and create. Because again, yeah, we're, 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 you know, we're sitting here, we're connecting, mm -hmm. you know, we're creating a great vibe. We know what we're creating for those that are gonna see this um, and be a part of what we're talking about. Yeah. And you never know, there may be some collaborations, right? Here. Definitely, definitely. I think that's so important for women. Yes, oh yes. yes. And uh, what's coming? What's upcoming for you in 2019? The summit. We talked the about summit. the summit. The summit is coming in September, and before that, um, in June, June 21st, it, uh, it's going to be the Power Moves. Okay. I'm doing a third annual Women Empowerment Luncheon okay. in Macon at the Tubman Museum, the Harriet Tubman Museum, oh, right wow. downtown Macon. This will be uh, the third annual, uh, and this is uh, sponsored by AARP Georgia. Okay. And it's going to be. Um, we had uh, probably 120 women last year for lunch. Great time. We had an awesome time. We had a great panel. Okay. So we're coming back to making, and we're calling it Power Moves. Power Moves. All right, because we're going to be making some moves. We're going to yes. help them to build their business, mm -hmm. their brands, and themselves. Yes. Because, again, we have to build ourselves. There's no way we can do business or way we can handle that brand if we ain't going to have it together mm -hmm. for ourselves. So yeah. we're going to have a good time. Well, that's great. That. That's, that's great. And they, and they say that um, they say that black women are, the, the, are growing in business. Oh, yes. Oh, gosh. And the numbers are astronomical. Yes. I, wish, I, I don't want to quote the wrong thing, but yeah, we're like in the uh, probably in the top five. I mean, it's so, so much that's going on with women in business, uh, women uh, entrepreneurs, women mm. own businesses, yes. minority owned. I mean, we're talking about black women, black Hispanic women, women yes. um, you know, and, and even and, and white women are considered minorities as well. So uh, across the board, um, our numbers are just growing. Firms are just opening up like crazy. Most people are, you know, they're, they're like, hey, you know what? 
I'm going to do my own thing. And, and corporate America is great. I've been there uh, and done that as well. But again, you know, having that faith to step out. Yes. That's that's big already. Definitely. But you want to make sure you got your cushion if you can, or mm -hmm. you got you know your significant other. Some people have a helpmate. Yeah. Um, they have strong families behind them mm -hmm. to help them move forward. Yeah. So um, you know, people are retiring early. People say, you know, I'm gonna take my 401k and start my business. Mm -hmm. Just to have it together. Yep. And I don't take all of it, but you know, I mean, you're stepping out on faith. If you believe, if you believe in what you do, if you believe it, you can achieve it. We heard that, right? Yes. When exactly. we were kids. So that's it. And Ms. McNair, uh, where can we find you? You can find me on Instagram. Oh, yes. Okay. On it. Well, you can find me on Facebook, too. But on Instagram, KMP, KMP underscore Women on the Move. Women on the Move. Also have uh, Kim McNair PR uh, on Instagram. And uh, Facebook, Kim McNair, Kim McNair Productions, uh, Women on the Move TV with Kim McNair. Let's go on Facebook. You can find me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, thank oh, you so goodness. much. Thank you so much for sitting down with me and speaking with me today. Yeah. I no really problem. appreciate oh, yes. it. Oh, yes. Oh, you know what? And they can go to my website. Okay. They can go to KimMcNairProductions.com or McNairProductions.com and WomenOnTheMoveTV.com. So, so we can just, Google Google me. just Google me. Just Google me. Okay. Well, thanks again. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you for having me. It's a great Kim and Kim. Look at that. Yes, Kim and Kim. And this is A-Fire Magazine. And we're out.